Hello. I'm not going to lie. It is getting towards the end of the year and I start like getting tired of thinking about testing and I start just getting worn down. So here's what I do to try to help keep myself going. Um, this year I'm trying to take my kids to like the botanical gardens or something. Um, you know, some sort of outdoor thing. So I'm trying to figure that out. Recently we went to like, you know, whatever our local science museum is. So I really try to like place those towards the end of the year. Um, but in math, sometimes you just get worn. And please don't judge me too harsh, but even if you do, I don't care. I've told you about her before. I've let you know how great she is and how she helps us stay on track, okay? The number diva, all right, on Teachers Pay Teachers. Like, I love it. I love her stuff. So what I've got is our next unit. Hey, next unit. Already done for like the next month. So we've got measurement conversion chart. We've got uh, about two weeks worth of packets. We do about one every half week. I've got my test for Monday. All things I didn't actually have to figure out. So, moral of the story is, you gotta kind of take it a little easy. When it comes to reading, you hit a lot of your stuff. You need to keep their interest. You got two choices, or maybe, you know, okay, so, if you're gonna do stations, beautiful. If you don't feel like doing stations right now, switch it up. Do guided reading. If you're in fifth grade, pull out The Giver. If you're in fourth grade, pull out Wrinkle in Time. If you're in third grade, pull out Jeannie Bean Jones. It doesn't matter, but it's time to read as a class, discuss the chapters, keep their interest. They need to want to still come to school. You know, in writing, jump to that next level where you're just like, okay, I'm gonna spend longer in writing right now than I did all year. And so for me right now, fourth quarter is all about Let's take everything we learned and push it to five paragraph essays. Let's knock out a big fat five paragraph essay every two weeks, which is cool. You know, with multiple sources and everything like that. You know, it practices quoting, practice all the standards, and you just keep moving forward. You, you see physical progress through the packet, through the essay, through the book. Physical progress is your key to mastering fourth quarter, even though you're done. I mean, I'm teaching after school every day that I can. I am coming to school early. I'm trying not to stay too late, but honestly, it's probably about 5.30 every day, which is good for me. I used to be like 7.30 or whatever, 7 o'clock. So... You know, there's things to organize in fourth quarter, and that's what your mind is going to want to do for start preparing for next year. I've got this crate down here that is waiting for me. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone in having a crate of shame under there. It's not shame, though. It's just, like, save it for later. So I hope this helps you feel comforted and know kind of what to do to push yourself through even when you feel like you're dragging just a bit um yeah drink your water <laughs> don't forget to eat a piece of fruit during your prep every day have yogurts in your fridge whatever you need to do to stay healthy to stay sane just came off of that spring break um and we've got every day after school to think about it as a little mini break sleep it well friends and please like and subscribe this video bye it was jana rose